Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Flair, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new MonsterVerse Titan Tech transforming Godzilla and King Kong. Now for those of you looking to add either or both of these to the collection, I'll of course be sure to pack a link down in the description box below and I've actually been really looking forward to these releases. These are in fact transforming versions of both Godzilla and King Kong and as you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Transformers and have actually enjoyed pretty much all of the Playmate releases for some of these monsters first figures, so these should actually be pretty fun and enjoyable to take a look at in today's video. Now we'll start off firstly by checking out the packaging here for Godzilla. Much like some of the previous more smaller figures, we do get the open box, so you can actually touch this figure to a minimal amount. Of course you don't have the tail attached and you can't actually split it in half to truly get to that weaponized form, but it does give you a good indication as to what it's got to offer. We've got some awesome artwork here in the background of King Kong, Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. I actually really hope we can see a transforming version version of Mechagodzilla on the horizon. We get Titan Tech down here at the base and as we flip our attention all the way around here to the back it does show you Godzilla fully weaponized and transformed up into this awesome cool souped up alt mode and looking really cool. It also gives you a demonstration of how the transformation feature will work. So yeah this one's actually looking to be really nicely done. As we take a look here at Kong it's more of the same. We get some nice product shots here at the bottom and as we take a look here at the back of the box it does showcase him also fully weaponized up with some pretty sick looking shades, some missile pods over the top of the shoulders, some really cool enhancements to his body, just overall looking really fun. So without further ado, let's get both of these cracked open and out of the packaging and see how they actually shape up in person. And so here we have the Titan Tech transforming Godzilla and Kong opens up and out of the packaging. And these are actually really cool for someone who's collected Transformers for the longest time. I was pleasantly surprised in regards to the engineering and transformation for both of these guys. Here in this mode, this is their regular appearance. We've got the standard Godzilla, the standard Kong, but when you transform them, they do become weaponized, almost cybernetic interpretations of themselves, and I think it's a really cool original concept and makes for some very fun action figures. I am definitely hoping this Titan Tech line continues and actually gives us a Mega Godzilla, as I think that would be really awesome. We'll set Kong here off to the side and start, first of all, by taking a look here at Godzilla. Just in this mode, I actually think he looks really well done. Now, granted, when in comparison to some of the other figures there will be panel lines etc but that's just due to the nature of the design and for what this is I think it resembles Godzilla pretty nicely I do like the transparent dorsal fins that we've got here at the top I do wish that this section for the neck could have been the same color of plastic as we're seeing here for the spine it's not a massive issue especially when we get him transformed up but at least here in this mode it was something that I noticed upon getting him out of the box but the reptilian texture detail that can be seen all the way throughout looks awesome much like some of their other figures you can see we've got some of that spinal detail which does continue all the way down here to the tip of the tail. I think the toenails look great. You can see here the sculpt work for the feet looks awesome and the same can also be said here for the claws and the arms. Overall a very nicely done figure. We do get some nice blue charged up eyes and the tongue as well as teeth have been fully painted as well as sculpted. Now articulation for this mode sadly there's nothing at the head despite it appearing to be on a hinge joint but we do get some jaw articulation which can open and close. Rotation here at the arms as well as a rotation here at the wrist. The hips can kick forwards and backwards, pretty standard for Godzilla figures from Monsterverse, and the feet can also rotate here at the base, and surprisingly, despite the tail actually having a transformation feature, it can also rotate left to right, which I wasn't expecting. So overall, a pretty nicely done version of Godzilla, but believe me, when we get him transformed up, that's definitely where you're going to see this guy shine. Now, as we take a look here at Kong, I'd say out of the two, he probably has the weaker, almost standard mode, just as the head, at least for me, looks slightly strange, especially especially from a front-on perspective, but for a gimmicky kids toy, overall still not looking that bad. The teeth have been fully painted even all the way to the back, so that is a really nice attention to detail. We've even got some paint for the tongue, and the eyes also do look pretty scary and angry, and much like Godzilla, he too also has a really cool fur texture detail, which can be seen all the way throughout besides the chest, and they've even gone the extra mile to paint on the scar, as seen in both Godzilla vs Kong and in the original Kong movie. Even here at the back, you can see it's been sculpted very nicely, and the shade of brown they've used definitely does match what we see in the movie. So overall, a pretty nice version of himself. We do get some hinge joints at the shoulders, so these can rotate the 4360, hinge out to the side. Sadly, nothing here at the bicep or the elbow, but that's just due to the way he transforms. The wrists also are locked into place, so he really only has a rotation here at the hip, and then a slight swivel where the foot is. So not a bad figure, but I think out of the two, probably the weaker, at least, 
released in this regular mode and he is actually the only figure to include an accessory that being this cybernetic enhanced axe now this looks really cool it definitely does look like a weaponized version of the axe as seen in the gvk movie so i thought that was a nice touch you can see how the main actual axe itself has all of these various different mechanical components actually clamped onto it and once we do get him into that weaponized mode it creates for such a cool accessory so yeah, I thought this was a nice attention to detail and for the most part has been painted pretty decently as well. Now as we turn to transformation, by far the coolest aspect about these figures, this is where I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. So take into account how they look now and be sure to compare this look to their enhanced cybernetic look as it is drastically different. Now much like we did towards the beginning of the video, we'll start off firstly here with Godzilla as he is actually the more complex out of the two. To start off firstly, what I would recommend doing would be to rotate this neck fin all the way around to reveal some super cool charged up detail which looks awesome what we can then do is take the arms and split those sections here right down the middle and then we can take this chest piece fold this section out and then take this piece and also fold this out you'll want to hinge these pieces here out to the side and then fold out these spikes here to the back close all of this up so just give that a nice squeeze and then what we can do is to hinge this chest piece up and over and this tab will actually tuck underneath the neck and then we can splay out that chest unit which I thought was really cool. These pieces will come over the top to act as shoulder armor and then as far as the spine pieces go you will want to connect them in the middle. They are surprisingly made out of a pretty tough piece of plastic so they will actually snap into place and will hold there pretty well what you'll then want to do is come here to the side of the body hinge these panels up and they will come up and over and kind of create neck armor for godzilla which i thought was really awesome do the same here for this side we can actually fold out a spike for this arm so you can definitely give a nasty slash to mecha godzilla or kong we can also fold out this thigh armor and then hinge this section up and over the same can be said here for the shins so fold out these blades flip this section here forwards and already you can just see how weaponized Godzilla is becoming. Repeat the exact same process here for this side. Sadly there's no spike embedded in this arm and I do kind of wish there was considering that for the most part this figure does follow a symmetrical design but nevertheless you can just fold that up like that. Do the same here for this section. Flip out this shin spike as well and then for some finishing touches you'll want to come to the back section of the tail. Hinge this out fold this piece up and over snap that there into place and there we have godzilla fully weaponized up ready to take on either kong or mecha godzilla and overall i actually think looking really cool the transformation for this guy is awesome and it's probably my favorite out of the two i really do love the way he looks now we'll take a closer look at him in just a second next up we're going to transform kong to start off firstly it is important that you pull this next section away from the body first just so that you don't actually damage the two halves here much like Godzilla, you'll then want to split him down the middle, so just hinge the shoulders out of the way, and then fold out some of the armor. Do the same for this side. You'll then want to rotate this torso piece so that the front is now facing the back, and you can take the Kong head and actually rotate this in to reveal a second Kong head, which is fully equipped with some pretty awesome looking tech, such as these shades, and I imagine some form of communication device. So that is really nicely done. You'll then just want to clamp these pieces back into place and then snap the back piece of the neck in. You can then fold out this section which i imagine would act as some form of radar or some kind of aerial connection here for the shoulders you are going to want to pull down here at the bicep so that we can reveal some nice mechanical detail and rinse and repeat the same process for this side and there is actually a lot that goes on for these arms so to begin with you're going to want to flip forward to these wrist guns do the same here for these sections of the forearms so just fold all of this out like that do the same here for this side so flip that forwards flip these panels forwards and then flip one that is on the underside and then as we come down here to the legs what's going to happen is these thigh pieces are going to swivel around to reveal some nice thigh armor and then these pieces also will flare out to the sides which I think look really cool the enhancements that Kong actually gain are pretty sweet looking and then also you'll want to do the same for the inside of the legs which can be a little difficult to get to but just flip those sections there forwards do the same here for this side 
and I believe that is all of the enhancements that Kong has and much like Godzilla looking super awesome and really weaponized but we can't forget that he also does include that enhanced axe now for those who don't wish to display in the hand you can actually peg it into a slot here on the back which I thought was cool so you can definitely have this slung over and a weapon of last resort for Kong if any of these really cool upgrades fell him he can just take this and destroy whatever opponent is on the battlefield but just to make him look even cooler I personally like to take it and peg it here into the hand just like this and there you have Kong with the axe fully armored up looking awesome now as we take a closer look here at Godzilla you can see all of these amazing electric blue highlights that we've got going on for the side of the chest as well as here for the neck really looking as if though he could go up against pretty much anyone and wipe them clean out I love the additional spikes that we've got here coming over the top of the dorsal plates that is just fantastic the darker blue looks awesome and to go back to my earlier point here in weaponized mode the solid plastic that we have here for the neck doesn't actually look too bad so Overall, I guess it's just a minor critique. I do like the enhancements that we've got here for the tail. You can see this really cool metallic metal spike. So I imagine that he'd use this also to deal a fatal blow to one of his opponents. And the legs are just fully decked out with what appear to be almost tasers or missiles. You can see here some really nice blue enhancements to the side of the legs. Some nice blades here for the shins. Overall, just such a cool looking figure. Even here for this side, we've got this wrist blade for a sneak attack. And that chest piece also looking well done. So overall, a very, very nice nicely done looking figure where Godzilla's concerned and Kong looks so much cooler here with all of these weaponized components so to go back to my earlier point we do get some nice shades as well as the communication device we get some over the shoulder missiles with this piece here at the top so that looks really cool I do like the monarch logo that we've got slap bang here in the center as well as this cybernetic chest piece and the way the biceps drop down to reveal some internal mechanical components I thought was a pretty sweet touch and you can see all of the metallic hydraulics that we've got embedded within the forearms and some nice wrist blades, some rockets here at the top and overall a really cool looking figure even as we take a look here down to the legs you can see some nice gold highlights, metallic silver just a really really cool version of themselves I think these are a fantastic concept now here for a very quick comparison we have the new Titan Tech Godzilla compared alongside the Mecha Godzilla which was originally released to coincide with the Godzilla vs Kong movie and to go back to my earlier point these new Titan Tech figures are actually quite a bit bigger when in comparison to their standard I want to say 6 slash 7 inch range so I'd say this guy's more along the lines of 8 perhaps pushing 9 inches but as you guys can see definitely a much bigger figure not only in terms of height but also in terms of length and just comparing the plastic quantity this figure feels so much heavier just because there's a lot more going on internally in regards to some of the transformation I'd love to hear your thoughts on these down in the comment section below are these figures that you guys plan on adding to the collection I once again want to give a massive thank you to Flair for sending these here my way for a review and I'll be sure to include links down in the description box below where you guys can pick these up for yourselves by far some of the coolest monsterverse figures that playmates slash Flair have put out in my opinion I really do think these are all awesome and that's coming from someone who loves Transformers. The engineering that has actually been packed into these guys is pretty cool if you ask me. Definitely be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.